when I fall backwards, I go spraying into the house, the rest of my life going, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, I'm gonna die. What happened was, the door handle had broken <laughs> off the truck. So my mom, who was watching from the window, said that Raymond slammed on his bricks, came spraying in the house, and after I locked myself in the bathroom, tried to kick down the door. That's how upset he was. So Murphy's Law is a big thing in my life, and there's only one person who doesn't hold it against me. This is Maxie. She's my baby. She's a dachshund, a little wiener doggy. I didn't name her my sister did, so I probably would name her princess or something. But okay, so I did my life story. It's in a magazine. It's called Simply Morgan, because I just try to be myself, nothing else. And yeah, we'll start. <clears throat> Oopsie. short hair with bangs and comes to my picture goes this way comes to here I was a senior picture that I got taken that I decided not to use but I liked and this picture right here I have two band-aids on my head and I will tell you why because it's another one of those Murphyisms. Um, my lifeline I started up high I made the varsity cheer team my sophomore year I didn't really expect to so it was kind of a big accomplishment for me and then my bottom line is my mom was diagnosed with PVC. It's a liver disease. It's only in women. It can be hereditary. They don't know much about it. And the hardest part is finding out if she would get her liver transplant or not. So as we go back up, my mom did get a liver transplant this past summer. She came out of it really well. She was in the hospital for three days, and it went really well. They said it was the most boring surgery they'd ever done. Another high point in my life was from during my senior year, I got to go to New York City with the choir. It was a lot of fun. I got to see a lot of cool things. Okay. So over here we have my family. We have this picture is of the four of us, my mom, my brother, my sister, and myself. And Ray is dressed in a ghetto thug look with the hat going on and ears pierced. Then we have Raymond down here, he's sleeping with Maxie. He pretends that he does not like her, but he really does. And this is me and my sister, we're in New York, we're on the ferry by the Statue of Liberty. Um, we had Sydney Riker take our picture with the little hat so we get in there. This picture is of me and my mom, it was another one we got taken when I was getting my senior pictures done. And it was before she had her transplant, so you can tell like she's really jaundiced and skinny. This is her afterwards and she put on weight and she looks better. Um, I put Live, Laugh, Love right here. Me and my sister got matching tattoos on our foot. Whoa! As a sister thing to do. And, I don't know, I'm getting another one. She refuses to because she didn't like the way it felt. Okay. You're going to need a helper. Yeah, Somebody can stand behind. Thanks, Steph. Thanks, Steph. Yeah. Alright. Um, so for my sports, I'm involved in cheerleading. So here's a picture of me with cheerleading. Um, <coughs> This is me and Rochelle Foote during my soft, no, my freshman year for softball. She was nine and I was six, so you know, put those two numbers together, brains start working, the picture. So it's like six to nine. Um, this was from last year. It's a scrapbook the parents made us at the end of the year. And my favorite page is the back because Miss Lawrence nicknamed me Ra Ra, because so, I'm a cheerleader. So the back says, once a cheerleader, always a cheerleader. Uh, I like that. And then this right here, I'm a big Detroit Tigers fan. My tiger is Curtis Granderson, center field, has got a team, number 28. So I have a picture of him right there. I also have a bracelet that has his name and number on it. Another really important thing in my life is my friends. Okay, um, they're really important to me. Um, this picture right here is of me and my best friend, Jessica. I tell her everything. I don't tell people other people. We were on the cheer team together. This right here is of me, myself, Travis Crispin, and Megan Graham. It's on top of the Empire State Building at night, and uh, we just had fun on the New York trip. This one right here is of Candy Gopi, Brittany Dolby, and myself, who are best friends, do everything together. When Candy comes up, she moves a couple years ago. This is me and Michelle at prom last year, and this is Stephanie, Hazel, and myself. Um, down here I have Murphy, Murphy stories for my Murphyisms. Um, a gun story. The first time I ever shot a rifle, I was wearing tennis shoes, didn't have any socks on. 
the bullet casing ejected into my shoe and I had a big burn on the side of my foot. I have not shot a gun since. Um, at a basketball game this year, I got taken out by one of the players from the other team. And I mean taken out, I was flat on the floor with him on top of me. It was not a pleasant experience. Um, back to the picture, the band-aid that I had I told you about was Murphy Store. My little brother had taken a scooter and dropped it on my head. And it had one, it was in the package, so it had one of those little Allen wrenches in it, and the tip of the wrench had gone into my forehead, so I had a big scar for a while. Um, sorry, I got a 17 passenger van stuck in the middle of a muddy field once, and now how hard I tried to couldn't get out, my brother did it on his first attempt. I almost fell out of a moving vehicle when I was like seven. My sister grabbed me just in time to keep me from being pavement on the expressway. Okay. And then lastly, we have my room. I spend a lot of time in my room. It's a good place to be. If you look in the pictures, I have no TV because it takes up too much space and I'd rather have pictures put up for my friends. Um, I can't really see, but this picture, all the way around the border of my room and like on the side walls are all the signs that I've been given in my high school career, like from softball or cheerleading, so I have them all. Um, this right here is Maxie. She's attacking. Jessica, my shot, got me a stuffed wiener dog for Valentine's Day, and she attacks it because she does not like it. And yeah, I have like in magazines, they always like pull out the little things in the picture and tell you like where you got them. I have a Playmate sign. My mom bought it for me, so it's a big one Playmate sign. Um, I have this bear. It's from cheerleading. Coach Daw, she left last year. Her mother made those for every girl on the team. They're pretty sweet. And then this blanket right here, it's Tinkerbell. She's like one of my favorite people. And my Aunt Pammy actually quilts, and she takes pictures, and she's one of those crazy artistic people. So my mom commissioned her to make that for me. For me and my sister, we have matching ones when she, she was going through her liver disease. And this right here is a wind chime that's in my room. Um, my Uncle Greg had a place up in Manistique in the um, UP, and he was killed in Saginaw, breaking, going for money. So he bought that for me, and I really like it, so I keep that for me. That's me. Any questions? Wait, no questions? Okay. No questions? <laughs> well done, dear. Nice work, nice work, nice work.